Problem five is the hardest integral I have ever solved. And I am not joking. And this isn't even much of an integration problem as it is a floor function problem. So yeah, just scratch that part of being a tough integral. This, the integral inside is pretty trivial, but the problem is you want to take the logarithm, the base 10 logarithm or the common logarithm as it's called, you want to take the common logarithm of the answer and then you want the floor function of it. So you want the integer part of that number. And this is just messed up. This is just messed up. So the strategy here is pretty unconventional in comparison to, you know, everything else that we do here on the channel. It involves looking for upper and lower bounds for this beast that I'm just going to call I, even if it isn't really a purely, it, it isn't a pure integration problem, but we're still going to call it I. So yeah, we're going to call it I and we're looking for upper and lower bounds for I. And the first step in all of the chaos that's about to follow is defining an integral I sub 1 as the integral from 2022 to infinity of 10 to the negative x cubed dx. And just for convenience later, I'm going to factor out, or I'm just going to expand, that is, I'm going to expand using zero in the argument of the exponent over here. So the zero that I'm going to use here is the cube of 2022. That is messed up, but, I mean, just look at the integral. I mean, did you seriously expect it not to be messed up? Like, seriously, bro? So you can factor out a 10 to the negative 2022 20, cubed here, and you can write this as the integral from 2022 20, to infinity. Sorry about that. Of 10 to the 2022 20, cubed minus x cubed dx. So that's i sub 1, and now we need to make some analyses using linearizations. And there are two functions I want to consider. One of them is the cube of x. So there's this function f of x equals x cubed, and this is what it looks like for non-negative values of x. So this is what it looks like. So wait a second. Uh, slightly better. So the thing is, it's concave up. It's concave up and increasing. This means it has a neat property that if you Define the linearization by drawing a tangent line at some point here. Then the curve is always going to be above the tangent line. The curve is always going to be above the tangent line. In other words, f of x is going to be greater than its linearization. And we define the linearization as the equation of the tangent, right? Close to the point where we value the tangent anyway, but we're not interested in that right now. So... How exactly do we figure out the linearization? As I said, we just look for the equation of the tangent. So for that, we need the derivative of f with respect to x, which is 3x squared. And we're going to evaluate the derivative, or we're going to look for the linearization, around x equals 2022. 20, because we're highly punctual, of course, solving the 2022 20, integration b one year after it occurred. But I already solved the 2023 20, integration b, so, you know, what the hell. Anyway, so the linearization of x around this point, x equals 2022, 20, equals f of 2022 20, plus the derivative of f at 2022 20, times x minus 2022. 20, Alrighty then. So f of 2022 20, would be 2022 20, cubed plus f prime would be 3 times 2022 20, squared times x minus 2022. 20, so that's the linearization, and because the function f of x is greater than or equal to the linearization, so we're just going to write this expression in that manner, and f of x was, in fact, x cubed. So now for some magic. Negative signs means that you have to reverse the inequality here. Raising to 10 doesn't hurt the inequality. Alrighty then. And integrating this positive function, these positive functions anyway, over a positive interval from 2022 20, to infinity doesn't hurt the inequality either, all right? And if you multiply this inequality by a positive number that is neg 10 to the negative uh, 2022 20, cubed, then you get 
the integral from 2022 to infinity of 10 to the 2022 cubed minus x cubed being less than or equal to the integral from 2022 to infinity of 10 to the negative of 3 times 2022 squared times x minus 2022. And all we need now is to multiply by another positive number that is 10 to the 2022 cubed. That is the negative of it, the negative of it, because that will give you the structure of i sub 1. So we know that i sub 1 is less than or equal to 10 to the negative 2022 cubed times the integral from 2022 to infinity of 10 to the negative 3 times 2022 squared times x minus 2022 dx. And if you just perform a substitution where you let x minus 2022 equal to t, uh, this implies that i sub 1 is less than or equal to 10 to the negative 2022 cubed times the integral from 0 to infinity now of 10 to the negative this horrible term that I keep repeating times t dt. And the integration is pretty trivial over here. You're just going to be left with 10 to the negative 2022 cubed divided by uh, 3 times 2022 squared. Terribly sorry about that, times log 10. Alrighty then, so that's a, so that's a, so that's an upper bound for I sub 1. And now all we need is a lower bound. Now that you have an upper limit, we're now looking for a lower limit. And for that, I'm going to analyze a different function. We're going to define f of x to be 10 to the 2022 cubed minus x cubed. Now this here is an exponential function with a graph that looks like this. This is what the curve looks like. So once again, we have an upward concavity. Means that f of x is going to be greater than the linearization constructed in and around some point, which you guessed it is going to be x equal to 2022. So for the linearization, I'm going to need the derivative here. So f prime equals the repeated function times log 10. And because of the chain rule, you're going to have a negative 3x squared here. So the derivative at 2022 equals, this term gives you a 1. And you're left with negative 3 times 2022 squared times log 10. And f of 2022 is conveniently 10 to the 0, which is 1. So the linearization sorts out to L of x being equal to 1 minus 3 times 2022 squared times log 10, all times um, x minus 2022. Okay, cool. And notice that the linearization is a straight line of negative slope, right? So that means at some point, it could cross the x-axis and become negative. But the integral of our function f of x from 2022 to infinity is positive. So we're not interested in the part of the linearization that is negative. We'll, we only need, we'll only need uh, the part that's positive. So L of x being greater than zero implies that x minus 2022 should be less than, right? It should be less than 1 divided by 3 times 2022 squared times log 10. Okay, cool. So that means x is going to be less than 2022 plus this thing. And because f of x is greater than the linearization of x, the integral from 2022 to infinity is going to be greater than the integral from 2022 to infinity which is greater than the integral from 2022 to 2022 plus this term here, 3 times 2022 squared times log 10, discarding the negative part. And now to evaluate this integral. So we have to integrate from 2022 to this thing here. But I'm quite tired of speaking and writing as well. It's popped up a lot during this video. Anyway, so the linearization was 1 minus 3 times 2022 squared times log 10 times x minus 2022. 
and you have this dx as well and you know what you guys can just work out the integration it's pretty trivial right but i'm not going to go through those manual calculations right now anyway so this implies that f of x the integral of f of x from 2022 to infinity which equals the integral from 2022 to infinity of 10 to the 2022 cubed minus x cubed and all you have to do is multiply this thing by 10 to the negative 2022 cubed and we'll recover our integral i sub 1, correct? Where did it go? Yeah, right up here. So then we'll recover the integral i sub 1. So let me just scroll back down. Okay, cool. Yeah, there we are. So just multiply all the terms and this implies that i sub 1 is going to be greater than or equal to um, the results of integration and multiplied by this term gives you there was a 1 in the numerator so 10 to the negative 2022 cubed divided by uh, 3 times 2022 20, squared times log 10 all multiplied by 1 half so we can just write this as 6 times this term okay cool so now we have upper and lower bounds for our integral i sub 1 all that's left is to combine these two inequalities. So we have i sub 1, and if we multiply everything out by 10 to the 2022 20, cubed, that'll help out later when we uh, take the logarithm using base 10. So we have 10 to the 2022 20, cubed here being less than or equal to uh, the reciprocal of 3 times 2022 20, squared times log 10. And this integral i sub 1 times this constant is greater than 1 by 6 times uh, 20, 22 squared uh, times the logarithm of 10. And let me see. Yeah, that's a square. Okay, cool. Okay, now what? Now I need some idea of what order this amounts to. And... I'm going to figure that out using the fact that the natural logarithm of 10 is less than 5 by 2 or 2.5 and it's greater than 2. Alrighty then. So let me figure out the order of this term here. So 1 by 6 times 20, 22 squared times log 10. And because we're dealing with reciprocals, that means the uh, signs of the inequalities are reversed. So this is going to be greater than uh, 6 times, replace 20, 22 by 3,000. So 3,000 squared is 9 times 10 to the 6th power times 5 by 2. Okay, cool. So you have some nice cancellation taking place here and you're left with a 15 term. So this is 15 times 9 times 10 to the 6th power and 15 times 9 is a 3 digit number. So hopping uh, the decimal point over there. Yeah, this is of the order of 1 by 10 to the 8th power or of the order of 10 to the negative 8. Okay, cool. And what about the upper bound? Well, the upper bound, we replace 2022 20, by 2000, right? So we have 3 times uh, 8 to the 8 times 10 to the 6th power and replace log 10 by 2. Okay, cool. So we have 6 times 8, which is 48 two-digit number. So this is of the order of uh, 10 to the negative 7. So all of this implies that 10 to the negative 8 is less than uh, 10 to the, uh, is less than 20, 22. Uh, sorry about that. It's 10 to the 20, 22 cubed times i sub 1, which is less than uh, 10 to the negative 7. Okay, cool. And now using the common logarithm, we have negative 8 being less than, uh, this is going to sort out to 20, 22 cubed plus log base 10 of i sub 1, which is exactly what our target was. But of course, we still have to take the floor function. And this is less than negative 7. Awesome. So this implies that log base 10 of the integral from... 2022 20, to infinity of 10 to the negative x cubed dx is less than 2022 20, cubed minus 7 
and greater than 2022 cubed, uh, negative 2022 cubed minus 8. So using the floor function, this implies that the floor of the logarithm of your integral that I'm not writing out again equals negative 2022 cubed minus 8. So that was one hell of a ride. And that was certainly a lot of stuff to write. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.